I asked you last week about Devin Haney, who I spoke to, and he said he's open to a Liam Parra fight in Australia if the numbers make sense. That was about a week ago. Have, have things changed at all? Not since really, then? no. I mean, ultimately, when, when Devin says if the numbers make sense, that basically means the fight's not going to happen because in Devin's mind... You know, Devin's in a really interesting spot. Like, without Riyadh season, I don't know... Like, if I'm Devin Haney, I have to come back in a, almost like a bit of a confidence-building fight. He might not like that term, but that that if I was representing him and guiding his career, that's what I'd be doing. And the money for a confidence-building fight probably don't really get him out of bed. And I think with Devin, sometimes you've got to strip it back a little bit and just work on... You know, go back to basics and say, I need to kind of rebuild a little bit now. The biggest, or one of the biggest fights in boxing is Devin Haney against Ryan Garcia, rematch. He cannot go into that fight without having a confidence booster, in my opinion. But it's very difficult to get a confidence booster and get four million in having it, do you know what I mean? So he almost needs to sit back and take a million dollars. Trying to find out if he bluffed us. Huh? What do you think's next for Devin? Uh, you know, we're friends again now. It's, it's, very, it's very emotional. You know, we were jumping up and down. I wanted, I wanted him to win badly. And, you know, obviously I've said a few things which I stand by completely, which was I really never thought that Ryan Garcia would win the fight. Uh, but he did and he deserves respect. So Henry just said, uh, fuck you, you piece of shit, or something like that. And I said, fuck you, you piece of shit. And... Then he said, we beat Luke Campbell, we beat Devin Haney, who else you got? And I said, boot tennis. And he gulped and then uh, walked towards me and shook my hand and said, I'm sorry. I said, I accept your apology. It's a very emotional game, especially when it's your son. No, but I thought Devin bluffed the ref really well in the sixth round. But he shouldn't have stopped it, but he could have stopped it. And uh, that was a massive, heavy knockdown. And um, he deserves a lot of respect, Devin. I thought he showed a lot of heart. But he got caught in the first round, never really recovered, and just didn't think he boxed well, really. How much do you feel the three pounds had an effect on Massive. what was It wasn't the three pounds, it was what they weighed tonight. So I would have liked to have seen Ryan Garcia weigh in this morning, personally. But is what it is. And, um, you know, he didn't make championship weight, but he produced a great performance. What impressed you the most about Ryan's performance tonight? Just his power. Power, you know. And the fact that he was like, I was just watching him between rounds. He wasn't really looking at Derek James. He was dancing around, he was singing. Maybe this is the future. Do you, you think know? after the first knockdown that Devin kind of got a little tired? And yeah, uh, I noticed uh, no, with was, the shoulder it, roll, it, was, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't tired. It was a, it was a, a huge knockdown. He was badly hurt after the sixth round, and he never really recovered. That's the truth. But he showed part. Come back. I actually had. I thought it was a very close fight. I yeah. thought he won the last round, and I thought it was a very close fight. If, if you had to pick a winner, I'd pick Ryan Garcia. But I thought it was pretty close because I didn't give Ryan that many rounds outside of the knockdowns. But the problem was there was three of them. Yeah. It's very difficult to win a fight when there's three knockdowns. And I know you wanted Devin. So what, what do you feel is next up for? for well, the, the belt's vacant, so you know he looks to try and win that belt back. But it's a devastating loss. But he'll bounce back. He's a good kid. He works hard. He's got a good soul. And he's a great fire. He'll be back. Eddie, if Eddie rematch, where would it even happen at? Because Ryan said he can't get below 143 pounds. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, look, Devin can move to 147. But if Henry's serious, I'd love to make boots against Ryan Garcia for the world title. That's what he said. That's, uh, that's what Ryan said. He'd love, love to make that fight. What, boots? Yeah, he said he wants to boot at 147. Really? Oh yeah. Were you guys what about what about Conor Dean? Boots might be too much. Uh, I can't guarantee it. It's up to Ryan Garcia. He's a big star. Last Ryan, question. Last question. Ryan is a huge star. So honestly, he's sport, and you have to give him all the respect. And tonight is Ryan Garcia's night. Just worth it.